Brown. Don't we look good? Yeah. Amen. Nick, 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 Nick. Amen. Amen. That's all right. Look at you this morning. Amen. To this quiet singing to the other people in their hearts. Give the honor of God. To these instrument players. To this curve. Amen. 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 And I love to give me. I forgot we had a guest with us here in the been pulled to you know, for looking up Mr. Curry for coming up here with y'all. I always to sit out in the audience. And I, I pray I covered everything. If I miss you, just, just charge it to my, my mistake. Amen. 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 But there is a word from God. I promise not to be before you long, but have the spirit lead, have the spirit move. That's what we we gonna do this morning. Looking at our our theme for this for this for this week that's coming up, and it's caught, taken from Joshua chapter twenty four and verse verse twenty fifteen and on fifteen and chapter four. Amen. Good. Got one. Got one. Thank you. Amen. Faith is a lie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Father is a lie. Amen. And our theme says, the family that feels God All right. will worship God. Amen. And this is taken from Joshua 24, 14 to 15. Right. And I hear pages turning, and I believe y'all are turning now already, aren't you? Yeah. If you're not, go ahead on and get there. Amen. Joshua 24. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Amen. If you found it by standing, we do believe in standing, not in God, and rather than God for his word this morning. And if you can't, we believe we understand. Amen. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone die by saying amen. amen. If not, then wait on me, preacher. Amen. You get now. And you will find these words recorded in Joshua's Old Testament. 24 and 15, 14. Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him with sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side. These little gods. Or the flood in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. And serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether it be God of which of your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the God of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. May God give a blessing to the readers and the hearers and doers of His word. Amen. 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 Pastor has given me the the privilege that this morning to come and and set everything how we gonna worship God all week. Right. And I pray that you pray with me. Let me pray. Oh Heavenly Father, I come this morning the only way I know how. I come first of all, Lord, giving you all the praise. And all honor that due to you. Amen. Lord God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, remove what you out the way. Amen. And let your spirit, oh Lord God, do his work. Amen. Lord God, speak a word of uh, comfort to your people. Yes. Speak a word of encouragement to your people. Yes. Speak a word this morning of deliverance to your people. Yes. Lord, use your servant as your will, oh Father God. Amen. Now, Lord God, that I must decrease, yes. that your Holy Spirit increase. Yes. Lord, these prayers and many other blessings I ask in our Son Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. Every time I say amen. 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 Just off the top of my head and not making any excuses, and just something to add along for me and my house. Right. You know, when, you, when you're talking about your house, we ain't talking about this personal house. We ain't talking about the house that's built with sticks and stones and wood and electrical wire and all that good stuff. We talking about this, this spiritual house. Yeah. You know, the spiritual house that, that our spirit 
you know, dwells in. Uh -huh. you know, that's the house that we all got a spirit that dwells in. Yes, sir. But we find in the book of Joshua where he was talking about for me and my house. All right. Yeah. You know, this is a personal, personal cry right here. Right. That's what we got to do at times. We got to make it, make it personal in our life. As for me and my house, we don't Amen. serve the Lord. Amen. And I promise not to be before you long, but there is a word from God. Right. And just, just from those few passages of scripture and what God has prepared right. for me for this day. Amen. And uh, scripture has already been read. Yeah. And we're going to do it like this. All right. I know you're going to put your Bibles away, but what I'm studying, what God has prepared me for, is still based on the same thing for me and my house. Amen. Who we going to serve. Yes, and what, what, what I like to use for a, for a subject. Take your time. Oh, yes. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, yes. On these few passages of Scripture. Exactly. All right. Well, well, well. All right. God don't care who you are. God don't care who you are. And what I'd like to use for a subtopic, breaking down walls. All right. When you talk about breaking down walls, we, we, just, we just said that we hadn't got no walls in our life. Well, we got walls when we hating our brothers, when, when we throwing rocks and hiding our hands, we putting up walls. We got walls in our lives when we got sickness, or when, we, when, we, when our fighting are low, that's a wall that, that, that stops you from doing anything. It's just like the wall that Donald Trump, it's not the wall I'm talking about with Trump trying to trying to get built. This wall I'm talking about right. is between brothers and sisters. Right. Yeah. We talk about friends and family day. Yes. You know, friends and family day. Yes, sir. You know, if you can't go to your family, where else can you go? Yeah. You know, it, it's just like a family. You know, I became all the other part of my family. Yeah. And part of my friends. Yeah. Some of them I call brothers, you know, some of them I call mothers, and some of them I call sisters. A different one, but you still, we still all family. Right. What Chuck tells us, we are family. Right. That's like right in the world, we are family. Right. But, 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 we're breaking down, we breaking down walls, breaking down the wall of prejudice. Yeah. Breaking down the wall of prejudice. Right. We find here, if we wish, I'm going a, I'm to a back up and, and, and recalculate my brain. All right. All right. All right. If we were to go to the book of Acts, uh -huh. chapter, chapter 10, uh -huh. and we'll find this certain story where it's talking about a certain man, oh, he was a pharaoh, he was a soldier. Uh -huh. yeah. And we're talking about Cornelius. Yeah. We know the story about Cornelius, how Cornelius was, how he prayed and, and how he had vision came into him from the Lord. Yes. We know about Cornelius. Cornelius was a, a soldier. He was a, a military man. He had men and company up under him. Right. Let me recap this thing and back up and tell you about something about Cornelius. Cornelius lived in a town called uh, Caesarea. Uh -huh. Caesarea. Uh -huh. This town was a port town. Yes, they yes. sit on the sort of a course line that where the ships and everything came in, the bargo, everything, the trade. So, so this was a booming time. Yeah. This town also, Sister Real, was a town of nothing but Gentiles. Right. Right. Nothing but Gentiles. Just like you go to New York and you find a town called Harlem, there's nothing but black folks there. Yeah. Yeah. So, but in this certain particular town in Sister Real, there wasn't nothing but Gentiles. Yeah. There might have been 99.9% Gentiles, there might have been one or two Jews just passing through. Right. But this was a Gentile nation. Right. When, I, when I'm talking about breaking down walls of prejudice, this was two people. Cornelius and Simon Peter, how the story goes about. Right. And then was Simon Peter is a Jew. We know Simon Peter is one of Jesus, Jesus Christ's apostles. Amen. He was a Jew. Amen. Cornelius was a Gentile. Right. So these two people, Jews, didn't have anything to do with the Gentiles. Right. The Jews didn't have anything to do with, with anybody else. They believed that, that God made everything just for them and it, it worked with just for them. Right. Yeah. But we find in the Gentiles that they were hated people. Uh -huh. They were looked down on people. Yeah. 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 But prejudice, let me give you a little bit about prejudice. Uh -huh. Prejudice is partial, partially exists. All right. 
from the beginning of time. Yes, sir. Right. Even when, when Cain rose up in, in Genesis 4 and slew his brother. Yeah. That was because of presidency. Right. He hated it because this, 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 this offering was as good as Abel's offering. Yeah. And when you look at presidency, it's something that, 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 that injures. Right. It's something that tears down. Yeah. It's something that damages the, damages the person. Yeah. But when you think about prejudice, just don't think about the cup. When you think about prejudice, we think about nations right. hating one another. Yeah. We think about towns and cities hating one another. Yeah. We think about neighborhoods hating one another. Yeah. Parents and children hating one another. Yeah. That is prejudice. Right. And when you look at that word pregnancy, it carries three little, three little words along with it. All right. All right. When, you, when you're talking about the prejudice, you got favoritism in there. You got partiality in there. And when you hear that last word, I was discriminated against. All those words go right back upon the prejudice. It is, it's showing that, hey, I'm at a high standing when I look down on my brother. The Jews were the type of people that, that they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't bought in that one, they stuck to their seat. They, they, they talked about they ate certain food, they didn't eat meat, uh, they, they, they were vegetarians, they, they didn't believe in eating, eating meat of that sort. But we find here that at a certain hour that, that Cornelius was praying, and the Spirit came unto him. Yes, And Cornelius, he was praying. Yes. And he said, uh, he was praying and he was asking the Lord. All right, yes, all right. Yes, uh -huh. Sometimes, though, when we pray, we want God to move right in. Yes. But when you read this story about the ninjas and, uh -huh. and Simon yes. Peter, uh -huh. you'll see there was a presence in this time. Right. It said that the ninjas was a devoted man. Right. He was a man that feared God. He was a man that loved his house. Yes, he, yes. he was a man that prayed to God. Yes. And it says in the story that uh, eventually about the ninth hour of the day, uh -huh. when he was praying, the angel came unto him yes, and told him to come you, your prayers that come up before him tomorrow before the yes, Lord. Yes, so sometimes when you get praying, uh, God already told you, I don't answer your prayers. Yes. You got to know when God don't answer your prayers. Yes. But you need to stop right now. Yes, sir. And we look at our Bible and look in verse 33 and in 10 and 33, it says immediately. You need to been waiting till tomorrow. He acted right then. Yes, he wanted to know what his vision was all about. Yes, right. So when you want to know something about what the Lord is doing and what the Lord is saying, we got to come in fellowship. Yes, right. We got to come to Bible study now. Right. We got to come to Sunday school. Yes, right. We got to come to church. Not just on one Sunday, but all Sundays that's on the calendar. You know, we want to pick those days up. We got those rainy day Christians and We got those foggy day Christians up. We got those New Year Christians and We got those Eastern Christians up. He got some of his faithful servants on his house. Uh -huh. And he got one of his fine military soldiers. Uh -huh. And he sent these men, so we, let me back up and recant this. Uh -huh. Before we go and send his servants out, uh -huh. the physician told him to send the chopper. Right. Chopper is about 20 or 30 miles off outside of Cesarea. That's, right. yeah. That's where Simon Peter was a large day. Yeah. Simon Peter was going through a situation of own failure. When we look at this situation, we look at Simon being saved and an apostle of Jesus Christ. But when we look at Cornelius, we look at it saying in our Acts chapter 11, 14 that Cornelius was not saved. So you got a saved person and you got an unsaved person that was perfect between the two. But look at what God do. It's saying that Peter was a, he was in hunger, I'm paraphrasing. 
and it was in hungry, so sometimes you get home, the meal ain't ready. You want to go up and take it now. They said Peter went to the rooftop, you know. While he was up there, he fell off in a train. So sometimes when you get off in a deep train, so God will be speaking to you. You got to get by yourself sometimes. Uh, you got to get them from, from your family folk, you know, from your friends. Uh, and you want Jesus to move in your life. But the thing that Peter was on top of the roof, and a vision came to him. And you got to know something about Peter. He was a Jew. And he didn't believe in a eating meat. The story said that a sheep let down from heaven. And it had all metal of beasts. Crawling beasts, creeping beasts, all types of beasts. You know. And the story said he told Peter to slay and eat. And Peter said, not so. I don't eat anything uncommon and unclean. We got to be careful when we call uncommon and uh, we have to call unclean. Three times uh, the sheep came down and uh, they told Peter the same thing. Then the word of the Lord came to Peter and said, Don't call what I created common or unclean. God don't care who you are. Breaking down walls. But when we look at this story, we'll find that Peter. All right, yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. When he got the vision, he had to deal with a situation right then. What was he going to do? Pray to God to give him what he had to do. God had already told him that. Uh, don't call that not clean or uh, uh, common what I created. He was preparing his heart for the men that were coming from the knees. Right. Yeah. And yeah. by the time the Spirit, when we, the, the Lord tells me that uh, people begin to think about what this vision was all about. Right. Yeah. And sometimes we'll, we'll get a vision from the Lord, uh, we'll get an inspiration from the Lord, and, uh, and we don't quite understand. Right. Yeah. If you don't understand, you don't die. Right. And the spirit of the Lord told Simon Peter, the men knocking at the door. Come on down, Simon Peter. You got to get right with the Gentiles. So sometimes you got to tuck your tail you know, and bite your tongue you know, and tell that brother you love me. Yeah. Amen. We know that uh, there are those who stress uh, being righteous uh -huh. and neglecting to do righteous. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be righteous, but I'm doing everything uh, in the world that's wrong. Yeah. I want to come to church, uh, but I'm doing all I can uh, out there in the world. Yeah. There are those who stress being righteous and neglecting righteous. This leads us to the areas of self-righteousness. We got to forget about self-righteousness. It ain't all about me. It's about the next man. It causes a person to stress when, it, when you're looking down on him. When you call him, he's not saved. When you beat him up with your word. Being judged, a person who says that he's righteous because he keeps certain laws. I don't think of just because I come to church on Sunday, just because I go to Bible study, just because I come to Sunday school. But if my heart ain't right with God, my righteousness is over. I don't see Brother Johnson. When I look in the mirror, I don't see 